What's up, bodybuilding.com fam? Master coach Rebecca Rouse here today to talk to you all about the pull-up. Now the pull-up is a phenomenal body weight exercise and one of my personal favorite exercises of all time. Let's dive in. In order to maximize your pull-up game, you want to be able to produce full body tension. That said, the pull-up is a primarily upper body focused exercise targeting the lats first and foremost, as well as the abs and the forearms. Because of this, there's a tremendous amount of carryover to other movements like the deadlift, any variation of the row, as well as loaded carries. Now, if you're still working on achieving your first ever strict body weight pull-up and doing so seems like an impossible task, I am here to tell you that yes, you can do it. It's just going to take a good amount of consistency, reps, and time under tension. Also keep in mind that the lat pulldown exercise, while fantastic for building upper body muscle and strength, does not necessarily translate to the ability to do strict pull-ups. In order to get better at pull-ups, you have to do, you guessed it, pull-ups. And if you can't do them yet, don't worry because this video is going to break down a series of progressions and drills that you can use to get your first strict pull-up or to improve your pull-up game. It might seem obvious, but in order to achieve your first strict pull-up, the first thing you have to do is be comfortable hanging from a bar. Start by getting a baseline for your hang time and spend some time hanging from the bar each week. Try to increase your time week over week. Beginners usually can hang for between 15 and 30 seconds, intermediate between 30 and 60 seconds, and advanced can hang between one and two minutes or even more. Once you're comfortable hanging from a bar, the next step is to move into scapular pull-ups. With the scapular pull-up, your elbows will not bend at all. All you're focusing on is moving your shoulder blades up and then down. Think about bringing your shoulders into your ears and then tucking them into your back pockets as far away from your ears as possible. Once you've established control of the scapula, we're ready to move into self-assisted pull-ups. You can perform these either with a barbell in the squat rack or on the Smith machine. Begin seated beneath the bar, then grab the bar with your legs bent. Using only the minimum amount of assistance from your lower body as possible, pull yourself until your chin is over the bar. Once you feel comfortable with those, extend your legs and do the same thing. Once you've mastered the self-assisted pull-up variations, we're ready to move into banded pull-ups. The banded pull-up allows you to experience the full range of motion of the pull-up, but with the added benefit of the assistance from the band. Attach a band securely to a pull-up bar, then put one foot inside. Make sure your foot is secure before bringing the other foot forward to meet it. Extend both legs and then pull your chin up and over the bar. As you get stronger and require less assistance, you can move to a smaller and thinner band. Next up, we have jumping pull-ups. Jumping pull-ups are a fantastic way to establish control over your body weight while accessing the full range of motion of the pull-up. You'll use a little bit of help from your lower body, and as you get stronger, you'll need less and less of that lower body boost. Begin with your feet on a box, jump until your chin reaches the bar, and then control the way down. Eventually, you won't need as much help. Lastly, and probably the most difficult, is the eccentric pull-up. The eccentric pull-up starts from the top of the movement and focuses only on the lowering down, or negative portion, of the movement. You'll jump up until your chin clears the bar, and then, as slowly as possible, lower yourself down until you get to a full elbow lockout. When you get to the bottom, step back on the box and begin from the top again. 
the stronger you get, the longer it should take you to go from the top to the bottom of the movement. So there you have it, a series of drills and progressions that you can use to get your first ever strict pull-up or to improve your pull-up game overall. I'm Master Coach Rebecca Rouse with Bodybuilding.com. Stay tuned for more ways to build your body.